Welcome back to the Chad Hasty Show. Joining us in studio right now, not to talk about Hillary Clinton, uh, but to talk about a big event happening over at the Free Market Institute at Texas Tech University. It's our good friend, Dr. Ben Powell. Welcome back. <laughs> hey, Chad. Good to be here and not talking about Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, before I ask you about uh, about the, the guests that you are going to have on Thursday, before I ask you about the Free Market Institute, how's the book? How's the book going? Book oh, sales. Uh, socialism sucks. Been doing great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're, we're still chugging along. Um, Doing pretty well on Amazon rankings. Uh, just fell out of the number one place in the category of socialism and the category of beer. Yeah. But we've been uh, tops on both of those for almost, almost since, since release. It's a great book. It's a great book. And, uh, and and I encourage people to read that. They can pick it up on Amazon, right? You can pick it up on Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, or your, your Barnes & Noble over here at the, the South Plains Mall. Yeah. If you want to leave the house... If you want to leave the house, you can go right over there to the bookstore and uh, and pick it up. Well, that's great. Uh, Socialism Sucks, you can pick that up. It is a gr- uh, great book and uh, a fun read as well. Uh, let's see. The political argument today. George Will, a uh, big guest that you're going to have over at the uh, Texas Tech University. Yeah, so tomorrow afternoon, 530 in the Allen Theater in the Student Union Building, we'll have George Will giving a public lecture. It's free and open to everybody. Uh, parking opens up in the band lot just south of the student union at five o'clock for free. Uh, he's going to give a, a lecture and then take some Q and a, and I know George will is controversial among West Texas, uh, conservatives and, and probably conservatives everywhere. Uh, but I think he's well worth coming to listen to and there'll be a Q and a, so you'll have your opportunity to ask your questions yeah. at the end of the last 10, 15 minutes. Or well, so. and, and you, you know what, I, I looked at the, and uh, the, the title of this like, speech, you know, lecture, the political argument today, and you almost go, there's, there's one. Yeah, well, I mean, how many are there? There's a lot that goes going on. Honestly, I don't. The title of the talk, I think, came from his publicist. Okay, uh, <laughs> he's just released a new book called "The Conservative Sensibility," a big tome, almost 800 pages. Uh, I've been reading. I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm hoping that he'll talk about that book because he doesn't really do partisan politics in it. Uh, he talks more about the the long run trajectory of conservative thought, and you know, he defines American conservatism as you know conserving the principles of the American Revolution. And, uh, and uh, it's as in contrast to European conservatives. Mm. Uh, and then he pits this as the battle of the founders versus the battle of the progressives and Woodrow Wilson in particular, and then how it's all playing out today. And a lot of the objections that he has in Washington are, are, are different than just the personalities, but of the administrative state growth of Congress giving over more of its authority to the president. I'd like him to talk about these conceptual issues rather than the, the personalities and the, the current people in office. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and, and I think, you know, cause we continue to see the, the, the size of and scope of the off the, the oval office, uh, you know, no matter who the president is, it, it keeps getting more and more power and that's not the way it was intended to be. And, uh, and, and, and I think that's something that, Probably most conservatives should agree on uh, out there, and I, I think most people who who would even even consider themselves constitutionalists, they would look at that and go, "This, this is not the way it should be." No matter who's in the Oval Office right now, right? And I think uh, too much of partisan politics right now is just wanting your guy to be in the office and do the things that that you want. Whether it was Obama, now Trump, and instead we need to focus on the 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 institutions, the rules of the game in the long run, because yeah. uh, the founding fathers had the idea that, you know, this was a leviathan, a beast that needs to be constrained, and uh, the constraints are off. Um, and that's a problem regardless of which political party you're in. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping Will will talk a little bit about that. And, and then, like you said, with, with the kind of the, the – excuse me, what you said off air before, the fracturing of conservative thought movement. Right. So not politics, but – uh, you know, his version of conservatism doesn't have a political home right now and how the different thought leaders in this are kind of breaking up. And, uh, you know, he's going to be very insightful on that and would be interesting to, to hear his take. Yeah, absolutely. So this is happening uh, tomorrow, correct? Tomorrow, 530 is the public lecture. Get there early because parking is always a pain in the neck when we do these <laughs> things, no matter how many times we work with parking services. It always is a mess. Uh, anyhow, the band lot south of the student union building. Uh, opens up at five o'clock for free parking. Lecture starts at five thirty in the Allen Theater. Uh, goes to six forty-five. Okay, very good. Uh, you don't need a ticket to get in. It's free to get in, and uh, it's always a, a, always a good event. Tell folks about the Free Market Institute at Texas Tech University, and, and also the growth uh, that y'all have had in that department. Yeah, so we were fi- we started seven years ago uh, with the vision of a West Texas rancher and working with Lawrence Skuvenek to to get it founded. They hired me to come here and started and. 
we've grown this into one of the biggest free market um, research institutes at a major university in the country uh, in a very short period of time. Yeah. And uh, actually, this fall, we're celebrating, we're opening up a, a satellite office down at Angelo State University that's part of the tech system uh, so that we can bring some of our programming like this uh, down there, too. So really excited with how it's been going. Lubbock is just a fantastic place to be running a free market institute. Yeah. Uh, previously, I've taught in Boston and California and D.C. area. I can't imagine running something like this in any of those places and getting nearly the support that we do from the university here, but also the, the greater West Texas community. That's right. Everybody's uh, invited out to uh, see George Will, political argument uh, today. Uh, who knows what all he'll be uh, getting into uh, from 530 to 645, get there about uh, 5 o'clock. And like you said, what, park on uh, the, the south side of the student union building, the band a lot. Yep, and I'm counting on at least one person to ask him a question about baseball if he doesn't bring it up himself. I was I was, I was about to say, somebody probably will. I sure hope so. Yeah, I think so. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate thank, it. Thank you, Chad. Chad Eastie Show, KFYO.